How's it going everyone? This is Mr. Morales. Today we're going to look at adding two numbers in JavaScript. So as you can see in my user interface, uh, I don't, I only have one text box. I need to include two text boxes and when you click on the submit button, the two numbers will add up. Let's take a look at how to do that. Let's go to our code. Let's start by changing your name on line 20. Let's go to around line 23. Actually, let's go to line 24 and let's change this to first number. And what I want to do is Let's get the text box right after the words first number. Let's change the ID to first. I'm going to press enter. I'll put two break tags. Let's enter the second number. And let's type another text box. This will be the second text box for the numbers. As you can see, this code was from our previous project. I usually like to use passcode and just uh, add more to it. It just makes it easy for me that way I don't have to reinvent the wheel every time. So let's start by uh, modifying the clear button or yeah the clear the clear button the clear text function. So let's modify some things here. Let's change this to first. And at this point it's okay to copy and paste makes our lives a little easier. Okay. So what I did was just include another line of code to be able to clear the value on the uh, second on the text box with the ID uh, second. So let's take a look at the variables that we're going to need. We're going to need three variables, one for the first, first number, second number, and the result. So we can all put them in one line of code. We'll do that on line seven. So I'll just type in first number, comma, second number, comma, and then I'll just put uh, result. Okay. Actually, let's go on this line. And so what we'll do is we'll use first number. We'll use the first number variable. What we'll do is obtain, let me rephrase that. Let's obtain the value from the text box with the ID of first and save it into the first number variable and we'll do the same thing for the second number so we'll copy and paste that and then we we'll change it to second second number great so now I, I obtained those two values and brought them into my function brought those two values from the text boxes. I have them in my function now. So, let's go with the next line of code. Okay, so this is an interesting line of code here. I'm going to start by... I need to save this under the result variable. So, um, what I need to do 
is what's called parse uh, a float. Um, and what that is is this is actually a function it's in itself and what that is is uh, that right now um, first number and second number are strings so if we were try if we were to try to add first number and second number uh, it won't it won't work as a matter of fact I'll show you this so we're gonna what we're gonna do first do is parse the float and um, this will convert them or parse the first number and second number strings which are just text into numbers that we can work with okay so we type in first number and so we're going to do several things here to make our lives easy So we're parsing the first number and we're parsing the second number. That's the first thing that's going on in this line of code. And then we're adding both numbers together. We have the plus sign there. And the third thing that's going on is we're saving everything into the result variable. So in a way, think of doing it's in a way it's kind of like algebra, but instead of the um, reading it, you're reading it from left to right, but starting after the equal sign, and then afterwards it gets saved to the left side of the equal sign into this um, variable called result. Okay. Last thing I want to do is on line 11, let's change my result and let's just put well put result that is that will give us the answer let's save our code let's run our code refresh as you can see now we have first number second number and now we have output so let's just put a couple of numbers here submit and great there's our answer we clear it everything gets clear fantastic it works let's go back to our code and let's just see what happens if um, let's put a comment here if I were to try to just here, let's, let's do an experiment I have no idea if this will work so if I were to just try to add first number with second number first number plus second number save it into the result okay result here we go so let's just see if this will work refresh and it doesn't work what it's going on is is that it concatenates the two and the seven making it 27 so it really doesn't add the numbers together so that is the difference between um, doing it like in line 11 or in line 10 the correct way okay so go ahead and change your results your code back and add those two numbers correctly I'll see you guys in the next video